Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. I came with uh, one more uh, podcast to talk about uh, the preparation. So uh, as you know that one, I interact with multiple people and uh, even I come to know about the actual details, how the people are preparing or uh, based on the analysis and based on the cases which I have seen in last few months and even last few years. Okay, let's take it a few months cases and I wanted to share certain information. I hope uh, this session will be helpful for you to fine tune your preparation and uh, to enhance your um, opportunities to get into SAP market or if you're already working and how to get into the new opportunities and how to grow yourself. So here uh, you can see that uh, the title is Are you preparing for SAP consultant interview or consultant role? So what's the difference? There is a, a minor difference, uh, even I can say major difference is available. So let's take it and uh, come to a kind of a calculation. Okay, I'm not pointing out to the people who are preparing in that way. And if you are coming into that kind of category, please try to change so that uh, you can um, enhance your opportunities. It's not just for SAP and uh, because our audience or SAP, so I am gave that title. But this can be applicable for any technology or where you're working, whether it's Salesforce or, uh, or other kind of uh, things like PeopleSoft or you're working on Microsoft Azure or any different, different kind of uh, things where uh, you are preparing and uh, please try to plan your activity in that way. What is this consultant interview or consultant role? So when it comes to interview, still you have to learn in deep, but uh, most of the people, the focus is the interview questions and answers either watching a mock interview videos or um, interview question and answers videos, or you would have some word documents where you will find a question and answer. So we generally focus more on that area, but that's not the primary focus, but uh, there is a misconception that uh, many people think that uh, just read interview questions and I go for interview. You have to understand that you are not preparing for a certification exam or you are not preparing for uh, a competitive exam where you read the question and answer and uh, there are old papers will be there and you, there are a few questions can be repeated. But you are preparing for um, an interview and the questions will be changed based on the project whether they are recruiting for a support project, the questions more into the support uh, questions, recent tickets which you have handled and the SLA, those kind of things will be available. If it is an implementation project, they will check your implementation experience and knowledge, the documentation, and how do you give the solution? What are the best practices? Those kind of questions can come. Okay, if it is some migration project from ECC to S4 HANA, they will check your S4 HANA skills and ECC, what kind of master data changes happened in S4 HANA, what are the migration uh, techniques available in the current market, these kind of questions can come. So the questions will be based on the, the role. And of course, the main criteria, what kind of profile you have put it. For example, in your resume, you put it, I'm good in this area, I have experience in this area. So based on your resume also, the questions will come. Okay, so the preparation uh, way you need to change based on the job description. When you get a call, if you have a job description or the role, based on that, you have to change your preparation. Okay, those are all part of entry preparation. Going through question and answers and try to understand uh, the requirement and what is your uh, experience, what kind of uh, roles you have highlighted in last one to two years, because generally the interviewers will more focus on your current role and the previous role. Uh, and the next preference will be given to your uh, five years back, what kind of role you have handled and all those stuff. Okay, so what is the consultant uh, role? Because everyone has to focus on your consultant role. Because if you take a few of our competitive exams at the bank or anything, uh, even for a few government exams and all, you prepare certain kind of a syllabus, you prepare history or you prepare uh, aptitude, uh, those things, but you will work on uh, financial. You, you may work as a cashier or you may work as um, a kind of a bank manager, You work different, different things, but your preparation and the uh, job role can be changed, especially when it comes to this uh, government exams. You prepare something, but your work may be in a uh, kind of uh, sales division or you may work for a kind of uh, revenue 
okay so in your in our case it's not like that not only sap any technology you are preparing for sap consultant role so you need to understand what are the roles and responsibilities of sap consultants and what activities you have to do and communication skills emailing skills interacting with other departments and understanding the business requirement and uh, you are in a position to analyze whether it is a sales issue or procurement issue and which team in needs to take the ownership and which name which team uh, you have to involve uh, to get the help from them okay what is the use of basis team what is security what abap team is going to do what is sd all those things you need to understand and what is your daily daily activities if you're going for a support project and what are uh, your regular activities if you can check your our comment or you can just go to google and search as uh, ganesh padala support video ganesh padala implementation video so these are we have a lot of stuff are there but people are not utilizing up to the mark that i can clearly say that one those videos are not even reaching to the much people uh, because people are more focusing on interview questions and get the job without practice okay these kind of attitude if anyone is there without practice just reading interview question and answer i want to get a job your success rate is 10 percentage in the 10 percentage also there are more luck will play the role the interviewer may be asking the similar kind of questions you are able to answer it but uh, once you get the job once you join the job or when you are doing that one this kind of attitude will make you painful you always feel stress if you have a good knowledge if you have a good understanding of business knowledge if you are able to communicate well to the user and understanding their requirements at that point of time you don't have to struggle a lot you will get some one to two hours or three hours of extra time. You can utilize for your passion or you can utilize for your uh, good health, doing some exercise or spend time with your uh, parents or kids or you can spend time with... You can do one to two hours of time you can gain if you have good knowledge and understanding and continuous you are doing practice. No, I just want to go ticket by ticket. Ticket has come resolved. You don't even understand what is the business process, what is the end-to-end -end solution. If you are kind of attitude, you will always struggle. You don't blame SAP. I don't blame your project. Don't blame your client. Don't blame your project manager because you blame yourself. You are not putting your uh, proper efforts. You are not understanding your SOP properly. You are not understanding your business process. Just like a robo one ticket has come and what is the solution? You find some Google or you find some the whole ticket, you resolve it. If you are like that, then uh, it will be, you, you feel always the job is painful for you. If you have a good knowledge, if you have a strong understanding, if you are continuously touching your subject and practicing, then one issue you can finish in one to two hours of time. Other person may take five to six hours and in these five to six hours, he will have a lot of struggle, negativity, those things. So I'm coming to the preparation, the main uh, agenda of uh, today's podcast. If we are preparing for four hours every day, please give three hours of time only to practice understanding business, learn the SAP base concepts, and 30 minutes you can give for interview questions or mock interviews and all. And 30 minutes you can give for the applying jobs and connecting new recruiters and managers and influencers or in YouTubers, whoever on LinkedIn and all. Connect daily connects to five to ten people, new people. So you have a four hours of time, three hours solid for preparing your uh, syllabus. Start from arc structure, master data, purchasing then uh, automatic account determination, pricing procedure. Like that, you go in a sequence. You can go to our content also. You can see the sequence to understand it. Half an hour, you can see the interview questions and all. And half an hour, you try to apply for the jobs. And uh, even I can give you that 30 more minutes you can give for uh, understanding uh, communication skills or uh, practicing. Communication skills means not just English. Okay, It's about how you're conveying the message. It's the same person, if you're explaining, see, all experts cannot uh, teach properly, okay? All experts may not be able to convey the message to the client properly. So that uh, thing you have to learn, that is the key thing for an SAP consultant. You're not just a system, you're sitting and doing some coding kind of a role, right? You are a business analyst kind of a thing. You need to functionally understand the business requirement, convey to the user, and understand the business requirement and relate to SAP solution. If there are any gaps, how to fill it without having uh, more customization and um, uh, without having uh, confusion to the business. Okay, that's what you need to do it. 
when do you increase the interview questions preparation for example today uh, saturday and uh, you are uh, maybe monday or tuesday you got a call and they said that we are scheduling the interview on friday or saturday you have four days of time right during that point of time give one hour for your preparation normal regular preparation two hours you can give for interview question and answers the last tomorrow you have an interview or uh, two days before give complete focus on interview questions i'm okay for that but you don't have any interview call and uh, no visibility whether the interview is going to come in a week or two weeks at that point of time why are you keeping too much focus on the interview calls learn the basics if you understand properly the pricing procedure what is the use of pricing procedure okay what are uh, involved like vendor is getting involved okay and purchasing organization is getting involved so pricing procedure has a conditions those are all called as a condition types and the overall we call it like a and pricing procedure that is a calculation schema how you are linking so these kind of a base if you prepare in that way then you can uh, do miracles in your uh, job of what you are going to do so finally i want to tell all the members please prepare for the consultant role 70% of your time you have to give to consultant role then you go for a consultant interview then you will be successful and your answers will give you the confidence and uh, the interviewer easily find out whether if this person is preparing interview question and answer or is preparing the concept concept plus interview question and answers is the super success if you just prepare the concept and if you are not practicing interview questions then also it will be problem because you are not able to uh, sentence you are not able to make the sentence to answer properly if you watch our mock interviews so i always correct to the people who are giving the wrong answers how to tell i will tell that one those will be helpful for you to do a better and to give a better uh, performance okay i hope for my time whatever i spent and by seeing the multiple cases i want to convey this message please utilize and please respect to my time why i'm spending this much time to provide you inputs because i want people who are serious people must take this guidance and they have to do better way the people who are want don't want to prepare and just the name sake they preparing and all those people also please understand and try to improve if you are see during our school days or college days you try to act study in the study hours you will just act when the invigilator whoever that uh, teacher comes nearby we just try to act as a reading once he goes then we will stop it okay these kind of all things are uh, okay that was happened if you are doing the same thing now then you will see that one sir one year i am not getting a uh, interview six months i am not getting interview the people say that for no interview calls and all recently i had a position okay i interviewed around 8 to 10 people of our um, circle and uh, who are preparing so i i surprised with that one they have our idoc course for last one one and a half year okay either because of our link sharing or the google drive and they are not able to answer the basic of what is uh, idoc type and what is the use of that one how you how do you transfer the data what is middleware that kind of basic questions they are not able to answer they have idoc course and even i share the free links uh, udemy links right i surprised that one uh, once i announced 700 800 600 people enroll that one but in the 600 800 people i see only 40 to 45 people are completing the course 70 percentage 80 percentage 60 percentage and remaining 500 people 0 to 10 leave about giving uh, review to support me first of all you are not opening your uh, course and you are not completing the course then how can a person will get a motivate to share lot of uh, free links to the people if you are not using anything so always utilization right if i make this video today i spent the i got this concept i i felt last two weeks uh, let's make it uh, this video i got time today and i make this video okay i'm expecting that one this will be helpful to thousands of people or hundreds of people they will understand the way of preparing they can plan their preparation if you are not watching the video or after watching the video also if you don't apply in your regular preparation then no use right but my i cannot make it 100% of people to change but if the 10% of people who watch this video if they improve i'm very happy and if it makes 50% or 60% of people's life better then i'm the happiest person thanks to all of you thanks for your time thanks for your uh, 
support if you really feel thankful after watching this video if you really want to say thanks just share our video with your friends and if you are a new member click on subscribe button and if you really feel more more thankful then go to udemy and if you have enrolled in any of our courses ganesh padala courses please give you a rating and if you are working in tcs or ey delight accenture any of these companies you would have your udemy business free login if you don't have talk to your hr or learning department and get your login you will find one three 13 courses of ganesh padala for free enroll it if you know the concept just watch and revise once if you don't know watch and learn and practice and finally give your rating your ratings are the boost of for our uh, courses already we reached to 136 countries and uh, with your support we can reach more and mainly i can get the motivation to make new questions and new courses on udemy thanks again to all of you for your time let's meet with new concept if you have these kind of concepts the real time where the guidance and all please put your comment the top suggestions i will definitely consider and i will make new videos thank you so much see you again